The Middle East, a region with a rich history, strong cultural roots, and an area which humans have inhabited for thousands of years. Once part of the Fertile Crescent, this region of the Middle East was one of the most fertile areas in the world. Due to its ideal climate for growing crops, its abundance of natural water bodies, and regular and predictable seasonal rains. Currently, the Middle East is home to 6.3% of the global population, but it contains only 1.4% of the world's renewable fresh water. This has led to severe water scarcity in the region as a combination of population growth and urbanization have led to the over-exploitation of aquifers and the contamination of water resources. Changes in climate may further decrease availability or accessibility of water resources, which could result in hindered economic growth and consequently increased poverty, social instability, and food insecurity. One way to increase water resources is rainwater harvesting, which has been implemented in the region for millennia. When rainwater comes into contact with a surface, it is directed to a point where it then flows into a barrel or cistern. A network of pipes connects the rain barrels or cisterns to the plumbing in the school so that when water is needed for sanitation purposes, the harvested rainwater is used. The Water Resources Action Project, or RAP as we refer to it, uh, is a purely volunteer uh, group of environmental professionals that uh, are utilizing rainwater harvesting systems in the Middle East uh, to provide impoverished schools and the communities that they operate within with greater water security. The Middle East Water Resources Development Team at the NASA Langley Research Center created a precipitation climatology using the Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission, the Global Precipitation Measurement, and other NASA Earth observations data to quantify and visualize monthly precipitation rates to identify the locations most suitable for rainwater harvesting. In addition, the team created PRIME, the precipitation interface for the Middle East. In order to create PRIME, we processed and uploaded precipitation, groundwater, and evapotranspiration data, as well as the shapefiles for school locations and a study area, into Google Earth Engine API. We then used JavaScript to create the graphical user interface for PRIME which RAP and its partner schools can interact with by the click of a button. Prime can also incorporate new, near real-time data and continue to monitor precipitation and other important variables to the water cycle in the region. Finally, from the output data generated by Prime's graphs, we conducted several statistical analyses to see if there were any correlations between the modeled climatic variables. Our analysis of the data demonstrated that the region has experienced a decrease in groundwater, while rainfall has generally remained fairly constant. We also found that almost all of the precipitation falls between December and February, and often there is minimal or no precipitation in the area between April and August. So having the data of where uh, the stresses of water availability are greatest uh, allows us to, to be able to take our, our limited resources and apply them in the communities where these schools are suffering from, I think, some of the most dire water shortages. With the help of our tool, RAP can provide rainwater harvesting materials where they're needed most. 